parts of the computer. Before we start Windows XP, first let's brush up with the basics of the computer. We will start with the keyboard. It looks more or less like a typewriter, but with more keys. You can type using the keyboard, and it can also be used as an alternative to the mouse. Mouse. When you hear this, you might feel funny about having it near your computer. It is a device used to navigate and the most important hardware. The parts of the mouse are the primary mouse button or left mouse button, the right mouse button, point, and pointer. If you hover or move the mouse, the pointer in the screen moves. Single click. This is used to select the object or document. If you want to do the single click, then place your finger on the left mouse button and press it down once. Double click. This is also used to select the object or document. To do a double click, press the button twice. For a few options, we need to do the double click. Central Processing Unit, or CPU. This is the central unit in a computer, containing the logic circuitry that performs the instructions of a computer's programs. It is used to execute the computer programs. Monitor. It resembles the television, displaying the visuals of the program. In the monitor, you can change the brightness, contrast, and view. Now it's time for some hardware knowledge. Random Access Memory, usually known by its acronym RAM, is a type of computer data storage. A floppy disk is a data storage medium that is composed of a thin, flexible, floppy magnetic storage medium encased in a square or rectangular plastic shell. CD-ROM, an abbreviation of Compact Disk Read-Only Memory, is a compact disk that contains data accessible by a computer. DVD, also known as Digital Versatile Disk, or Digital Video Disk, see etymology, is a popular optical disk storage media format. Its main uses are video and data storage. A hard disk drive, HDD, commonly referred to as a hard drive, hard disk, or fixed disk drive, is a non-volatile storage device which stores digitally encoded data on rapidly rotating platters with magnetic surfaces. What is an operating system? In this lesson, we are going to discuss the operating system and its functions. It forms the most important setup program that runs the computer. Operating systems perform basic tasks, such as recognizing input from the keyboard, sending output to the display screen, keeping track of files and directories and folders on the disk, and controlling peripheral devices, such as disk drives and printers. Every general-purpose computer must have an operating system to run other programs. For large systems, the operating system has even greater responsibilities and powers. The operating system is also responsible for security, ensuring that unauthorized users do not access the system. It's like a traffic cop. It makes sure that different programs and users running at the same time do not interfere with each other. You will interact with the operating system through a set of commands. For example, the DOS operating system gives you commands such as copy and rename for copying files and changing the names of files. The commands are accepted and executed by a part of the operating system called the command processor or command line interpreter. In graphical user interfaces, you will enter commands by pointing and clicking at objects that appear on the screen. For PCs, the most popular operating systems are DOS, OS2, and Windows, but others are available such as Linux and Mac. Operating systems can be classified as multi-user, allows two or more users to run programs at the same time. Some operating systems permit hundreds or even thousands of concurrent users. Multiprocessing supports running a program on more than one CPU. Multitasking 
allows more than one program to run concurrently. Multi-threading allows different parts of a single program to run concurrently. Real-time responds to input instantly. General-purpose operating systems such as DOS and Unix are not real-time. In the upcoming tutorial, let's explore what Windows is and how it came up. What's new in Windows XP? Windows XP Home Edition Windows XP Home Edition was the replacement for Windows 95, 98, and ME. Some of the new features that Windows XP Home Edition offered include fast and easy switching between users, Luna, a newly designed desktop which puts frequently used features in the most easily found locations of the Start menu, an enhanced Windows Media Player, Windows Messenger, Windows Movie Maker, Internet Explorer 6, Remote Assistance, System Restore, Network Setup Wizard. Windows XP Professional Edition Windows XP Professional Edition was the replacement for Windows NT and 2000. In addition to the features of the Home Edition, it added new features to improve networking and task efficiency, a remote desktop, encrypting file system, fast resume from hibernation, and support for 802.1x networking. 